I'm going to show you how I made over $9,000 in a month by self-publishing books on Amazon. My name is RJ Martinez. And if you're like me, you're always looking for new ways to make money online. I'm going to share with you an amazing strategy that anyone can do. It's a great way to make some extra cash on the side. So stay tuned. I'll show you exactly how it's done. And if you're getting any value out of this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys. So let's break this down. One of the things that I like to focus on personally myself is paperback books. Okay. That's the main thing that I focus on. Okay. I don't do the eBooks. That's something may, I may be getting into in the future. I'm not sure yet. There's so much stuff that I do. So my main focus is to try to go into a niche. I would literally use the Amazon search bar. There are a few tools out there that you can use like BookBolt or even uh, PixelPod Studio. I'm the owner of PixelPod Studio, so I do all the research and the interior stuff back there. So everything's going to be down below in the description. If you want access to over 300 interiors templates. You can edit these interiors and upload them onto Kindle Direct Publish and become live on Amazon. And I pretty much teach you the whole process of how to publish your whole book on it. If you guys don't know what Kindle Direct Publishing is, uh, go sign up, create a free account. It doesn't cost anything. What it is, you create a digital product, you create an ebook or a paperback book and then it becomes live on amazon.com. Okay, when the customer makes that purchase, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, sign on Amazon. Kindle Direct Publishing prints and ships it to the customer for you. You don't deal with no inventory, no customer service, and it's literally exactly what I just said. But don't think about this too hard. There's so many different types of niches that you can create books in, from coloring books, from like a daily log book, to a journal, to a planner, to a recipe book, to a cookbook, to a novel, a line notebook too. Okay, so there's so many different ways that you can do this. The main thing is research. Before you do anything, you want to focus on research. And this is one of the most important things. You don't want to jump into a niche and you do not know nothing about it. Okay. You want to learn who, who you're creating this book for. Who's going to buy this book? If you understand that, then you kind of understand the whole process. So if I'm going to go out and create a coloring book, okay, let's say for example, I did the research, go to your local grocery store, local book place, local library, see what people are buying. What is the, the main thing that people are looking at right now? So and all that information in like a sponge and what you think you can create. You can create anything you want to at the end of the day. Now, when it comes to any of this stuff, you can outsource. Big fan of outsource. You did your research, figured out what book you want to create. You're going to want to go on to Upwork or Fiverr and have someone help you create a book. That can be done. I'm helping someone right now create their first two books. And they were like, hey, RJ, can you help me do this? I'm like, yes, I can help you. I was like, I create a lot of YouTube videos. They're all free online. He's like, no, I want you to help me personally one-on-one. -on -one. I'm like, all right, cool. I already created the first book. We're almost done with the second book, which is really awesome. I shared a little bit of it. on my social media, so make sure you guys are following me over there on social media. You can either one, create it yourself. You use any of these like editing software tools that can help you. I know people that create the books in Canva. I know the people that create books in PowerPoint, people that create books using Infinity Publisher. I know people that create books using uh, InDesign. Okay. There's several different softwares out there that can help you create these interiors. And I'll have some free ones down below that you can download personally yourself. The goal is to understand the whole process. I'm always a big fan of understanding it. And then once you understand it, you put it to work and then you fine tune it as you go along. What can you do to be better than your, your second book that you thought was really good or your third book, or your fourth book. For example, I have, I have probably about four top sellers. And the first thing I'm thinking about this year going into 2023 is how am I, how am I going to beat that top seller and that top seller and that one and that one. I'm understanding my reviews, looking at my reviews and seeing what customers want. Look at your reviews and understand what they want. If you do that, okay, it's very, very powerful because you can make a lot of money, like in a competition with yourself. And then you're like, okay, I can create a book too that can beat this one. And that, that's a challenge within it, within yourself. But if you go and look at your reviews, and seeing like, what is it that they don't like about this? Is there two negative comments? I wish there was a few more pages. Okay, so book number two, instead of having 80 pages, I'm gonna create 150 pages with this book and double down. Say that one book makes you, let's say $1,000 for the year. Now, if you double down, can that second book, can that make $100 or more? Because at the end of the day, if the second book is created and it starts to make $100 a month, I think it's a win because now you got two books that are making $100 a month. The goal is to understand the whole process and understand your research, okay? This is like, I'm streamlining the process process for you right here. And there's a lot of AI tools that people are creating children's books out there with right now. I've seen it done and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. This is crazy because this would usually take me a lot of work and a lot of effort of research. And then obviously handing it over to one of my team members. I outsource a lot of my work. The main thing is understanding the process. Once you got that down, you can create a top selling book in a niche. Okay. When I created a top selling book in a niche, I was very proud and very happy. The book that took off for December wasn't the top selling book on my account at the time, but now it is. 
what the heck? And I, I didn't expect that, which is cool because remember guys, Amazon was built off of books, right? And I think this is a big accomplishment for me personally, and I can see the growth in there and, and what I need to do to double down to even beat that number next year, okay? My account's been slowly growing, but I've been mainly focused on books that can that are evergreen and that when the holidays come around, they sell. Think of different ideas. There's so many different ideas out there that you can do. And next thing you know, you have a top selling book on Amazon, which is really cool because you're a top selling author. Your book is crushing it. You're not taking care of no inventory, digital product. And it's selling over and over and over and over. When you start to get those reviews in, it's easy for you to convert and make money with that product. As you can see, total is $9,370.56. And December 1st to the 31st, 22 total books, 1300 books live. This was uh, crazy because there are certain days that I was hitting over six. I think the highest day was like six over $600 in one day. This is a way of print on demand too, by the way, the amount of effort that I've been putting into this is, you know, I've been publishing anywhere between the three to six books per month and to get these type of results, you know, I'm focused more on being the best book inside of that niche. Okay. And it doesn't matter what it is. It can be a how to book. It can be a coloring book, so on and so forth. Like, it, it really doesn't matter. A lot of people ask me like, what type of books do you publish like from i can publish from a math board book to a coloring book okay and the goal is to obviously be the best in that niche ask yourself that like if you're inside of a niche like how can you be the best what is it going to take for me to be the best book in this niche and if you do that that's how you create consistent sellers and it pretty much applies to anything this one book it went below 1000 bsr the lowest was like 933 bsr and it sold close to six thousand dollars just with that one book and then my second runner up is 694 third runner up four 65 the fourth one is 318 now that top book is an evergreen book and it's going to sell like that all year long may not hit the 6,000 but it can probably do anywhere between 500 to two thousand dollars per month and i can see it doing that consistently every single month because of the algorithm took that book pushed the heck out of it where it was selling between 100 to 200 copies per month i mean per day in december which is crazy right just to even think about that and another thing too, I did pause the ads for December. So I didn't spend no money with ads. The reason being is just, I had a lot going on. I wanted to optimize them and I don't really spend that much money with KDP ads as it is. I probably average anywhere between 200 to $500 a month. Some of the, some of my books that are, you know, have a really good ACOS. I'm going to go back and turn them on, but I, I paused pretty much everything because I was like dealing with all kinds of other stuff that I do trying to balance everything out. And I didn't want to lose sight of in December because you can literally two X or three X amount of ad spend. And I didn't want want to do that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to come back in January, think of a new game plan and optimize some ads that need to be optimized and keep the ones that are still doing good. Keep them right. That's what I'm going to do. As me making this video, I'm optimizing ads right now and trying to make sure everything good and clear to go because I don't want to overspend on ads if they're not even converting. And if you guys don't know about ads, it's like, that's another job in itself. And I know you know that if you spend money on it, that's a job. Everything that we do as far as the whole process of doing everything, there's step. Every single step is something that I try to personally perfect. That way I can can be really good at it, right? And that's the goal. And if you guys want to learn how I do research for Amazon KDP, watch this video right up here. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much. Peace.